management system, cruise control, air conditioning, power windows all round, Bluetooth, O and USB inputs, rear view camera and rear parking sensors. Stepping up to the VTL add 16 inch alloy wheels, over the VTS 15 inch steelies, electric folding mirrors, front fog lights, climate control, keyless entry with push button start, leather appointed seats, a leather wrapped steering wheel and shifts knob, and native satellite navigation. All models get your standard safety gear like ABS, brake assist, electronic brake force distribution, hill start assist and traction control, though no Honda City features active safety features like blind spot monitoring, and autonomous emergency braking, AEB. The city does, however, wear a 5-star ANCAP safety rating, though the stamp is from 2014. The Mazda, on the other hand, gets city speed forward up and also has the technology for reversing, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and a head-up display, HUD, as standard. What the Thai sourced city lacks in standard kit, however, it makes up in practicality. The Honda sports a massive 536 liter boot, larger than many midsize SUVs, compared to the Mazda's still respectable 440 liters, while also trumping the two's rear seat space in just about every dimension. Hopping in the driver's seat, the overall design of the city's cockpit is rather simplistic, yet attractive. On closer inspection, Though, you'll find all the dash plastics are the hard, scratchy kind, and this carries over to the majority of the door trims.